I'm now live. Oh my gosh. Nobody's here yet. I'm going to talk to myself because I'm my only friend. You would not believe the day I've had, people of the universe. I'm not even going to tell you the day I had. Let's just say I had to reschedule absolutely everything because, because. Hi, people of the corn. Oh my gosh, there are humans here and we're having a great time. Who's freaking ready? Who is confused as to what is happening? Me. Say me. It's me. Guess what? The lighting in here is terrible and I'm really trying to... Oh, I'm really trying to... Oh, actually I made that better by doing that. Oh, how I love the internet. Oh, how I love this ponytail. All right, guys, I have to tell you something. This is very embarrassing. Um... I have exactly an hour. Well, I have like an hour probably in 10 minutes, so this thing is going to be an hour and 10 minutes. Also, listen, I don't contour, okay? I don't know how to contour, and clearly there's a problem here, okay? So let's just, you know what? Let's just be thankful that I don't have sideburns, because that would just be embarrassing. All right. Um, hello, people. So if you don't know what's happening right now, there's about 50 of you on. I'm actually about to invite a special guest so that we can sign things together and so it's not boring and there's no dead space because everybody gets distracted really easily and their their um, view time for things are um, short. What is that called? The duration of how long you can pay attention, your retention span, whatever. That thing. Um, this is me. This is a picture of me looking way better than I'm looking right now. This is also a picture of me. It is done by Sony Shock. I don't know if you guys know, but uh, that is one of the prints that I'll be signing today if people order it. Um, my store is finally working, so I'm actually gonna log on in to my store. Oh wait, yeah, I'm gonna log into my store now. I'll just let you guys know. Hi, Rachel. Um, I hope you can find a parking spot, or I hope you, or I, Anyway, um, so here we go. Uh, normally, by the way, I don't really care about how I look most of the time. Like, I just really don't care. I'm just not into it, you know? I'm into looking good when I want to look good. Not when it's, like, forced upon me to look good. Do you know what I mean? Um, for example, I get, uh, uh-oh. I was going to say for auditions and stuff, because you kind of have to put on makeup. Even if you don't put on makeup makeup and makeup makeup, you have to, like, you know, take out your blemishes, which clearly my makeup does a great job of because there's one there and there's one there. We're all human. Right, folks? Anyway, let's uh, not talk about my zits anymore because that's gross. So, um, I have four prints, aka I have four prints. It's so weird because I'm talking to myself and for some reason I thought that I'd be able to hear you guys. I haven't done a live in a long time. But anyway, also I'm in a craft room right now. Looks kind of fun. Anyway, um, this is a print I'll be signing. This is a print I'll be signing. I know at least one person got this. That's why I made them kind of small, because literally nobody likes them. Anyway, uh, <laughs> and this is the one that um, I made this print myself in about 10 minutes. And you know what? It has a story for another time. Anyway, I got this printed as well. It says my name on it. Not backwards, I promise. And I'll be signing things in around this area. So there's a direct eye line for Sweetie Belle to be signing or to be looking at it. Sammy says, love your outfit. Thank you so much. Um, it's uh, jeans that I wear all the time. And then there's this shirt that I got from somewhere. Wait, I got it from Amazon. Uh, high quality fashion. Anyway, so here are those, right? There's this one. Oh yeah, there's also this one, but I don't think anybody got it yet, you know? It's fine. I understand you guys only care about Sweetie Belle. It's totally fine. Not like this is my latest character that I've been doing. I actually, right after I finish this live stream, I need to go record for that uh, through the magic of the internet. So yeah, we can't stay on this live for too, too long, but I feel like an hour will go by pretty quickly. Already we're eight minutes in pretty much. And what have I accomplished? Zero. Sounds like my life. All right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to invite a special guest now. I think everybody wants to tell me to shut up. And you know what? I agree with that. So let's go ahead and invite... Oh! Guys, who do we think it is? Who do we think the special guest is? Let's be real. Let's try and guess already. Hello, my good... Oh! Michelle Hello. Kramer! Hi! This is fantastic.
fantastic. I was just telling my audience here on YouTube, I feel so technically proficient today. Dude, I, on the other hand, do not. And then <laughs> for another time. But the point is, everything works now. And everything is so good. -a. Yep. Also, I was so highly debating, and you're not going to believe this. I was so, so close to wearing this shirt, ladies and gentlemen. No freaking way. Wait, put it on, Claire. Please, for me. Look at how matching will be. I have a proper undergarment. Oh, no freaking way. I just thought, did we have the same mindset? Like, that's going to look so pony. Wait, I'll show my viewers, and then I... I'll readjust my set. Hold on. I got to show them what you look, look the, like. The color theme. Look at that. We're wearing the Pop same off. shirt. I love it. Wow. Oh my this God, is something. I would not wear this because I looked like a grandma in a thrift shop, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> that is so funny. I was like, no, this shirt is going to be kind of see-through, and I don't want to wear it, and I was too lazy. It's okay. And it's it's the thought. It's the thought that counts. It's the fact that we it? almost match. That's so fabulous. You and I, we've been like this for years, her? though. Claire and yeah. I have known each other since we were six years old, and the amount of times that we have, like, said the same thing, thought the same thing, we're on, like, very identical wavelength. We always have been. Yeah. Oh, does yeah. it combine the people that are on live with you and me in the same thing? Because I had 50. I had, like, 45 or something, and then it just jumped to 90. I don't think so. I mean, unless people are watching it simultaneously. But that's, I don't know, I, that, that's like their whole level of technology on you their side. Is it Claire Corlett speaking? Yes, it is Claire Corlett, guys. She's here with me. Michelle's reading um, comments from her YouTube, and I will really try and read comments from this. So, and we have all of our prints. Michelle, show me your favorite print. Oh my gosh, this is the new print. I really like it. Here it is. Hey. It's uh, Pixel Kitties. I mean, she's always done the always done the best artwork for cons, but I love this one because they're they're on stage doing their thing, which is very me, as you know. This one's like my little giant like apple bloom. Oh, that was that was so good. You designed that, right? I did. I'm trying oh, to. Oh, fabulous. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I also, it's really just my favorite because everybody else said that it was their favorite, so therefore it's mine now. Yeah. So, that's that. Well, that's, so, my, that's my favorite uh, Sweetie Belle quote. Oh, thank you. I love it. Okay. So, oh, hold on. How do I? Oh, there we go. I just tapped to see a little more comments. I can only see, like, two scrolling. Uh. Um, my plan was that we were just good. We can just go one off. Like, you go, and then I go, and then you go. I'm going to start I love with it. On my Streamily page, if you guys are confused, we're signing prints. I think all you know what's happening at this point because I talked for eight <laughs> minutes about it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go to the VIP orders first so that I can... Oh, Wait, me too. Okay, uh -oh. cool. Do you want to go first, Claire, or uh, do you want me to go first? You can go first. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is so exciting. This is like totally <laughs> uncharted territory. That'd be so okay, cool. Okay, cool. So I guess I, the one thing we have to do is not click complete before we're finished because otherwise then it gets, it, it like disappears. So disappears. starting with the VIP peeps, I have got Charlie B and he has requested this lovely piece, which is an older Pixel Kitties piece of artwork you have that we used to sign. I, what? You have a stand. <laughs> oh, yes. I was like, you know what? Let's just go full out. I got my merch stand, all the things we usually have at like live shows. I was, we just like full out. Why not? <laughs> just That's to right. emulate some kind of exciting event. <laughs> okay, so Charlie, hello. You are the first to uh, have your thing signed. So I'm going to put a little number on the back because we have to get the technical things out of the way. And yeah. beautiful. Okay, so Charlie. Oh, well, it's been so long since I've signed it. Good Lord. Ever, like a year and a half? Uh, Crazy. Oh, okay. Exactly. Hey, Charlie. Uh, what are we, Charlie. what are we thinking? What's like, what's the quote of the day? Charlie didn't request anything specific. So what's your favorite Apple Bloom okay. quote, Claire? Super. Me? I like the, um, 
Let's do, let's do We Take Cash or Credit, the iconic. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Love it. All right. Yes, it is. I think it is. All right. Now, because she's teaching this other pony, which is my OC, to sing. So how about that's the song? So, all right, now. Aha. Sing. We I take cash. Boring. Or credit. Oh. Boom. And then a B with a little apple, because I love to draw my apples. And then, of course, my signature. And there you go, Charlie. Boom chakalaka. Beautiful. Cute. Thank you, Charlie. If you're in the chat, let me know if you want to add anything to that since you are our first peep of the day. And uh, yes, I already did. I put the number on the back because, again, I am like on top of it all today. Over to you, my good sir. All right. I was just going to say, um, while I'm signing this one, I will read out what I'm supposed to sign and whatever. And then while I'm signing, Michelle, why don't you go ahead and answer somebody's question from- Oh, beautiful. Okay, I love me. this. So good. Um, first, this goes to Presley. He's getting the So Bored print. That's what I had named this because it's cool. Hey. Uh, any relation to Elvis, let me know uh, if you're listening. Uh, and they say if Claire could write, why does life have to be so ironic? That would be much appreciated. Thank you, exclamation mark. So we're going to go ahead and write the number on the back first. Did you write it on the corner or just the back back? The I back. just wrote it on the back back. Okay. I'm going to do, do that. All right. <laughs> Michelle's going to answer a question while I'm signing your print. <laughs> okay, so the first question I see, first of all, guys, I actually didn't say yet. Feel free to put your questions in the chat because I will start answering them. Uh, oh, yeah. And in between kind of when Claire's signing hers. And then you also feel free to ask us joint questions because we're both here and vice versa on, on uh, Claire's thing there. We can uh, do some joint questions too. You guys ask I'm going to start asking better ones. So get ready for that. <laughs> Get ready for the que the question competition. Um, okay, so someone asked, when is the next concert? Well, I was thinking it would be fun to do a little bit of song and dance and frivolity. You know? <laughs> a little bit of singing tomorrow. We could do some MLP stuff and uh, some of my, my own songs, some of my new singles. If that would be fun, I'll, I can set up the PA. We can, we can do a little half... Pen, well, half uh, signing session slash Q and A slash little mini concert. So, if you guys want to join tomorrow? We can uh, we can do some more of that. And that's actually. Can you go in the chat, Mom? Camille has a great question. Okay. About like outside of U.S. Canada for like taxes and stuff and customs. So that's actually a great question. I don't know myself. And then Michelle, can you tell us something inspirational? Well, man. Uh, hmm. I have many, I have many quotes I like to refer back to in my, my humble life, but I suppose, uh, hmm. Well, well, here's an inspirational quote that I like. It's don't let anyone rent space in your head for free. That's a good one. And then my sort of general inspirational, like, manifestation that I always live by is, you know, failure is success. That's, I think, the best one for anyone out there who wants to go into entertainment and to kind of, you know, pain your way through what, what Claire and I do. Uh, failure is part of the game, right? Anyone will tell you that. And if you learn how to cultivate that into something positive, then that's true success. So there you go. Ow. Hip just popped in excitement for that answer. Um, <laughs> all right. I finished signing. So now... Michelle's going to sign someone and I will, you guys can type your questions in my Instagram comments so I can read them and I'll try and pick one for the next chunk. Beautiful. Oh, I get to press complete too. I forgot to press complete on oh. Charlie's. Complete. You got okay. it. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Sweet. Oh, an on display CD. Okay. That's next. We got Jen. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm going to use my 
do you know what these are? These are like the most pretentious things, but they're also awesome. They're little CD slicers. So you go like that, and then it opens the opens the packaging. <laughs> that is awesome. Rock my world. Oops. Cool beans. Okay. Claire, because this was like like the album like two years ago, you had a lot of uh, we did a lot of stuff together on on this album in terms of like all the you help with a lot of things in the in the back sort of side of, of this whole project. So thank you for all of that. Okay, you're welcome. I paused for a second. Here. I apologize, people of the world. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I missed something, but anyway, we're good. Beautiful. I'm going to try the silver Sharpie, but also silver Sharpies suck. So we'll see if any of them work. Okay, so Jen, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to write my name first. See how much space we have. Okay, and then lots. Ooh, of coming in here. Love to you. Or Jen. Um, ben, 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 Ben says, are you, re are you realizing and new alum Claire? Um, I'm going to stretch that response and translate to, am I releasing a new album? I, for a lot of people, because I haven't really heavily promoted this, <laughs> um, it was more of like a random personal project. And I was honestly very shy and nervous about it which I know is probably very confusing to everybody because I never stopped talking <laughs> um, but I did actually I put an EP on and a couple like songs on a Spotify account like a year and a half ago and, um, and it's I fabulous made... thank you um, no, I love it I... Better, than, better than better than you that honestly that is probably my favorite song. But the but the difference it is rocks. I I literally listen to all that stuff and I'm like, I hate I hate all this. It's not even that I'm like nervous anymore about like my singing voice or whatever. That was like a very like four year ago thing for me to do. Now I'm feeling good about it, but I want if I'm gonna do song stuff, I really wanna go in the direction of like musical comedy. And so with that it, yeah. it kinda goes hand, hand with like creating a like a video is I mean I could do just a song but it wouldn't be as clear of me if I didn't do a video with it so um I have a few like demo things that I've written but the problem is, is that I don't actually own the music that I've written it to so there was really no point in me writing it at all um and yeah I don't really know what I don't really have any plans in the in the near future at all to do that but it, it is something that is on my mind so but if you haven't listened to Jen, you can go also, listen to it. Turn to sign again whenever you're ready. Oh, I got Jen. I'm getting Here's Jen. Lots of love to you. Thank you, Jen, oh. for getting on display. Hope you enjoy. Okay, Claire, I... take it away. You're signing. Okay, I have to go at 505, which is a very important thing because I have a session oh, okay. after. But um, I... That's like my day tomorrow. <laughs> well, t okay. Today, wait. Oh, yeah, I have other, like, Q&A thing tomorrow, and then I have something else tomorrow. I have to look at my schedule. Anyway, okay, I'm going to do another one of these prints. The same one. Are we shocked? No. And we're going to make it out to Rhea, and it's custom. So I'll come back to you when I'm done. When I come up with what I'm going to say. Take it away, Michelle. Gorgeous. All righty. Okay, there were lots of good questions, I think. So let me scroll back up here. Let us see. Mm. Someone says, if you could work with any musician, living or dead, who would it be? Ah, uh, hmm. Well, any musician living, of course, Sarah Burles, who is my musical idol. Anyone who knows me could tell you that, including Claire. Yep. Um, but dead, I mean, I think anyone would work with Michael Jackson, anyone with half a brain. Uh, musically, you know, separate what to... potentially his personal life could have been. Just him as a musician, right? And, uh, well... Some greats are still alive, like Stevie. Well, hold on, hold on, Freddie Mercury. Hold on. Oh, oh, that's a better answer than Michael Jackson. Freddie Mercury. There you go. Sorry, Claire, I'm distracting you. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm actually done. I wrote. Oh, oh come gorgeous. on. Okay, let's let's both answer this question then. 
What's your favorite right. book? Because, you know, you and I really were just great we're readers. Books. We can read so much. We read, like, three novels a week. We're, like, total, like, smart bookworms, you and I. Yes. Just books all the way, right? Oh, my God. But I actually have an answer for it, which is weird. So that says a lot about me, too, which is that I haven't read books recently. <laughs> um, I really like, okay, favorite solo book by itself is a book called More Than This by Patrick Ness, and it has been Ooh. my absolute favorite book for probably eight years now, and it was so good, and it's kind of sci-fi, and it's, like, post, like, it's pretty Matrixy. I wouldn't say, like, post-apocalyptic or anything, but it, it, it it's, lies in the Matrix zone, but, like, in a book, and it, it takes place, or I think it's, I don't know if it's first person, but it is about, the main character is, like, a teenage boy who doesn't remember, uh, he remembers, warning, uh, if, close your ears if you're under the age of 15. He, um, he's 14 or 15 or whatever, and he, he actually drowns himself. Uh, oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's terrible. But then he wakes okay. up. Like, wait a second. I thought I died. Where am I? And that is why I love the book so much. And my wow, favorite now, you, is you've the captivated me now. I, you reeled me That's in. I'm very curious. <laughs> it's actually a really good book. I really like it. And I have I was, not read it in probably eight years, But it's still my favorite. <laughs> the most boring answer, but it's my favorite book. I, I think it was the best. Uh, well, I don't know. It's hard to say. That yes, was the yes. one as a kid I read the most of, of the Harry Potters. So my favorite yeah. Harry Potter. Potter movie, though, probably Half-Blood Prince. It always changes. Honestly, I can't pick. So I will uh, I'll go on to the next uh, VIP. Five, Claire. So we can keep a good pace. This one is for Presley, and he has requested a specific message, which I will write out while you... Uh, Read your next question there, Claire. Could this be the previous Presley? Oh, All right, I'm, last order. I'm check marking it so I don't. Oh, it could be actually. It could be. Um. All right. Uh, another question. Oh, cool. Have any of you voiced in anime? Um. I recently voiced in an anime. Where is it? Here it is. This is my character from the anime, folks. It's this little blonde chick right here with a. <laughs> chest plate she is very cool um and actually if i'm being completely honest anime is um it's a frustrating thing like the taking place of the anime can sometimes be very time consuming and that's why it's frustrating but i actually had a really really good experience with this i recorded it in la the title is very long so i hope you're taking a note it's called didn't I say to make my abilities average in the next lifetime? Question mark. It's either lifetime or life. Anyway, by the time you type life, it'll come up. So it doesn't really matter. But um, I'm one of the main four characters. And they go on this, you know, typical anime. They go on an adventure to save the world because something bad is happening. And um, it's actually pretty good. And it's pretty funny, too. It's There's a lot of jokes that actually land with the translation, which is kind of nice. Because sometimes you don't get that. But, um... Yeah, this one's cool. Beautiful. Uh, I've got Presley's order here. So um, Presley asked for the Cutie Mark Crusaders. Wait, I gotta open ooh. my other window. The Cutie Mark Crusaders will never be the same. And then that's my name, Michelle Krieger. Thank you very much. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Applause. Thank you, Applause. Presley. Um. Woo! All right. Now I am signing. <laughs> Signing and I'm making it out to Dan, and he also doesn't say to write anything. So I'm gonna make it up, and it's probably gonna be the same thing I wrote last time. And I'm gonna write number two on the back, because we're not gonna make that mistake again. And it's the same print. So here we go, Dan. Take it away, Michelle. <sighs> Thank you, Claire Corlett. Hey, also, we have mom here. Mom is here, Monique. 
Hello, Everyone Mom. saying hello to you. I've, so. I've been uh, chatting. I know. <laughs> also, I just, I'm, just really the, like... I'm just the assistant. <laughs> no, no, no. But actually, guys, I, I everyone's uh, happy to see you. I am monitoring the. I'm trying to monitor the chat when I'm not doing other stuff. So feel free to shoot me questions in there too. Yeah, and if you see any that are are like if if I miss some that are really yeah. Duda or whatever, I'll you try can... to keep an eye on that. Beautiful. Graham, okay. I'm OMG, I'm a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Oh, and Graham. Here. Wait, like Graham? My like... squeaks in the chat. Hello, Graham. Post them. Friendly okay. Rose. Graham Cracker. Oh my gosh, Graham right! Cracker. I always forget Graham was a yeah. next week. I, so Graham is one of my very good friends completely outside of My Little Pony. I mean, same with Claire. Like, we even met before MLP, but I always forget that Graham was on My Little Pony. Hi, Graham. <laughs> the voice of Pipsqueak. There you go. That's hilarious. Also, okay. the star of Star girl, he's sending hearts in the chat now because we're inflating oh, yes. his ego. Very <laughs> talented back here. Very, very talented. <laughs> yeah, he's in Star Girl Plus. Check it out. I can potentially move my microphone closer to Claire if you guys can't hear very well, or I can try turning up my phone volume. Okay. What's a what's a good question here, Mom? I'm I'm kind of uh, lost in the... this one here. Um... No, you just take uh. I was taking screenshots. Uh, Brandon Jordan says, what inspired your music, Michelle? What inspired Brandon my music? Jordan. Okay, Brandon, thank you. Uh, what inspires my music, I suppose, is a better way uh, to phrase that uh, because constantly my inspiration is changing. And I believe that the best way to become a versatile and you know expansive songwriter is to continue to push yourself in, in how many different ways you can get inspiration for a song. So whether it's starting with the melody or the lyrics or the, a title or a, you know instrumental hook first, whether it's writing from first person perspective or third person perspective, writing with I or them or all you know, there's so many different ways to distinguish different songs and, and um, create a unique sound. So I'm always, always uh, mixing it up and making sure that nothing ever gets stale. But, you know, sometimes you go through little droughts and uh, it's important to kind of find, find ways to get past the writer's block. But long answer short, my inspiration comes from everywhere and everything and everything in my life. Inspiration has come from your city. Well, there you go. Stream it now. Did you see, Claire? Look at these. I'm actually really proud of these. I think I think these turned out so groovy. Back there. I was, I literally <laughs> want. What you got back there? That shirt. I can see like a square you... of it. Oh, no. Okay, Claire, if you, if you think you would wear that shirt, no, wait till you see the hat. This is like a you hat. This is a complete that... you hat. Look at this crap. Ah! Look at this crap. It's designed for you. It's, it's like great. I based Claire Corlett would wear it. <laughs> I love it. It's wonderful. I'll send you one. I will send you one, my friend. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. You don't know my address. Just kidding. Um <laughs> I know. I think I do. <laughs> um wait, I'm lo lose I'm lost track. Are you no, you're signing now. You Oh yeah, right. You just signed, right? Did you did did you yes, finish it? I did. I did okay. finish I finished really quickly, actually. So, cat. Okay. So up next we have Cat or Katrina. So you chose this fabulous print, and I'm now going to sign it. There was no specific, uh, you know, a request. So I will do my own thing. And Claire, feel free to answer some questions. All right, guys, pop some questions in the chat. Um, I'm gonna be weird, and I'm gonna put this filter on because I thought it'd be fun. And now I don't know how to take it off. So. We might just be stuck here. Um, oh, wait, I fixed it. Okay, cool. How do, I, how do I get out of here? How do I get? Okay, cool. All right, ask some questions, folks. Somebody said, I miss going to cons and seeing you guys. Hey, man, thank you. Uh, somebody said, my good friend was an animator on the Barbie movies. That's pretty cool. Um, that was done a while ago. I haven't done any of those in a long, long time. Um, let's see. 
I popped a question in the chat. Okay, well, I don't, I don't know how to, if I'm gonna scroll. Somebody said, "How was Colorado?" I've never been to Colorado, as far as I'm concerned, unless I was drugged and taken there. Um, I have not been. Um, Claire, what is your least favorite color? Finally, a good question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> least oh, Claire likes least favorite question. Le least yeah, favorite color, I'm not funny. favorite color. What an ass. Such a rebel. <laughs> um, let's see. What is my least favorite color? Well, you know what? I don't like pink for a lot of reasons. And, you know, this doesn't need to be as deep as, uh, because we don't have time to get into my hatred for pink. But it's not just pink. I don't like colors that anybody wants me to like. You know what I mean? Like, Okay. You know when you like you have a little baby girl and you're like, oh, I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna put your little pink hat on you. No, give me blue. Give me a light baby robin's egg blue or yellow or green. Fight the patriarchy, Who's Claire. Way? You tell them. Uh, it's not even. You know what? I actually. That's my favorite color. I forget. I mean, Do you like yellow? I love yellow. I don't know how. Oh, yeah, you see, I hate yellow. Not, my entire wardrobe has switched in the past two years to just yellow in everything. I have seen. <laughs> but it looks good on I'm, you. I approve, I approve of it on you. I just don't like wearing yellow. So I, I approve of it on you. But hey, I just wanted to tell Kat I finished hers. I said I'm sending you lots of hugs and apples because App Bloom has so many apples you wouldn't even believe. She basically owns an empire. So there you go. Thank you, Kat. Continue, Claire. All right. So um, I'm only going to be signing prints on my um, on this live stream on my live stream on Sunday, which I believe is at 2 p.m. Pretty sure I'm going to actually be showing you guys how I like record things. And I'll show you my little setup because I have some like audio message shout outs. So if you're waiting for that, don't worry, it's going to happen. Um, and if you can't join the live stream anyway, that's OK, because you're still going to get the audio message. So it doesn't really matter, does it? Now, Jeremy is next. So. Beautiful. And it's this one. Again, are we surprised? There hasn't been a single other print. No. All right, number four. Here we go. Take it away, Michelle. Thanks, man. People, ha there's a one question for you, though. Quickly, Claire. Uh, uh, what? Wait, why just? Oh, yeah. Do you ever ask yourself, what would Sweetie Belle do? Do you think, okay, this is an honest question, actually, for me. Like, do you think Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle even, like, know what they're doing at all? I've always felt like they just have no idea no. what they're doing ever. Like, I would not, I would trust them, but I would not put my faith in them to, like, do no. something properly. <laughs> like, they're so here's, incompetent. Here is the truth. I would have a very fun time babysitting all three of those girls. It's true. I I'm taking them to the movies, taking them for some ice cream, taking them to something. And that's about it. I would not trust them to do a project well with anybody other than themselves. And even that is risky. Um, I <laughs> even, that. Like, <laughs> even that. Even that they can't be trusted. They are not team players unless it's them so that they can, because they're good enough friends that they can fight amongst each other and they don't hurt each other's feelings. Although sometimes you do. Exactly. But I have asked myself, one time, but unfortunately it was ironically. Um, and it was preparing for like an early convention. And just because I liked it, I literally looked in the mirror and I was like, I didn't ask myself what would Sweetie Belle do? I was like, all right, time to be Sweetie Belle. Here we go. And it was when I was like 14 or 13 or something. One of the first yeah. conventions. And I was like, yeah, cause it was still new for me. And I like, didn't know what to expect if every con was going to be the same thing. So, which yeah, everything was... obviously has been, but uh, I need to hey, sign guys, for Jeremy. I'm... Oh, sorry, Claire. I was just going to say that I moved my mic to the other side of my computer. So hopefully the people on my YouTube can hear you better because they were hoping to hear you a little clearer. So <laughs> that well, you're that... louder now. Oh, oh, oh. Interesting. Okay. What, uh, what question is a good question? Off-screen associate, like Gabe and Claire like to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How'd you know me? Um, You're a very good off-screen associate, Claire, but a very good on-screen associate There's a question well. that's kind of for me. It says, did your mom have any, well, or you can answer it. Did your mom have any idea you would be a wonderful singer when you were young? Um, I feel like with the environment that I grew up in, it was kind of a given. I was never forced to do anything that was a huge misconception. Well, no, not misconception, but just like assumption 
that I didn't want to be doing as many things as I was doing and want to pursue like the arts so early. And so, I don't know. Did, yeah, I'm sure you got that too, Claire, because both of us had like parents kind of yeah. in the industry. I had two, Claire had one, but very much like, you know, thing is, question of do they actually want to be doing this or yeah. Yeah. And for me, it was like, well, I want to do more. I want to do more than what you're doing. Me too. Was, yeah. <laughs> no, that's the thing. Yeah. And you know, Claire and I, even as like seven-year-olds, we're like, we're driving the bus here. I'm like, we don't also, worry about that. We're like, okay, yeah, yeah, that's your thing. Like, what's going to be my thing though? Like, what's going to be, what's oh. my niche of like, this is only I can do this, you know? We kind of both have that too. But we also like doing everything, which makes it harder. Um. Michelle's gone up and left. She's had enough of me. She has no, left the chat. Apparently my audio... Oh, no, I'm back. Oh, my audio cut out on my YouTube when I moved the mic. So I was probably talking for a while and they couldn't hear me. Oh, you better answer the Sorry, question. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Everyone on the on Claire's live stream heard it. So. Uh, okay. I am Claire, are you done there? Yes. We are complete. Jeremy. Jeremiah. Right. Beautiful. And okay. Here, can you let us know if that's your full name or nickname, perhaps? Let us know in the comments. All right. Um, I'm finding a question because Michelle is about to sign. Who are you signing for, Michelle? I am signing for Dear Adam, and he would like this cool little card that Gabe designed, actually. His name... Wait. Oh, yeah. Name. Oh, it does. There it is. Gabe designed this one, like, years ago, and it's a really cool print. Yeah. So, for Adam, here I go. I'm going to use the sketchy silver sharpie but it's gonna pull through for me so take it away claire we got okay we got guys come on let's get let's ask some weird question, questions let's get into it here um <laughs> first Stuart is wanting to know if michelle which hat which hat do you prefer to wear a fedora or cap cap is a very broad term so good luck with well, that just, question i own 30 caps it's like 30 snapback hats so i think that question answers it why do you not wear fedoras? I think it would look good on you personally. You know, okay, not like fedoras, but I did buy a hat and I'm really excited about it. And I'm actually using it in the photo shoot. So you weren't here when I told them about my day tomorrow. I have the panel just... thing we're doing. Then I go get my vaccine. Then I come back Ooh. for another shining. Then I have a photo shoot for the single I sent you three days ago. Oh. <laughs> and I'm going to wear my hat. <laughs> Which is kind of like Wait. a fedora, so there you go. I, I'm guessing that it is a newsboy hat. Yeah, some, no, it's kind of more like, a, like, it's kind of more like a fedora. What would a, you, like a like summery, a sun, uh, beachy fedora. Like a sun, summery, be, like a is sun, it like, like, like a, a masculine sun hat? Kind of. Like a straw I'll send colored. you a picture. I'll send you the pictures when the we go question. do it. Is it anything like this hat that I have on the ready? And do you look as good as I do in this hat? That's the real question. I feel like you'll always look better oh. than me in hats. So there you go. You go oh. People who ask oh. me. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, that looks great. <laughs> I know that it's coming apart when you say it like that. I All gotta right. show them your hat. <laughs> I gotta let them in on this beautiful. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> It's okay. I just have a really tight clip. There's Claire in her hat. Look at that. Look how look how pretty she is. What a what a gorgeous hat, my sir. Somebody said I am hiding in the bathroom just to watch this. Hope you're safe. Don't know really what. Um, have you met Tara Strong? Well, <laughs> yes. We. My personal experience was I was like, oh, that because I don't know her face. I was like, oh, that's Tara Strong because somebody told me. And I was like, wow, I should go talk to her. That was my first thing. But then I was signing at the time and she was also signing. And then I watched her. There was a person who came up, left with their thing. They were like, thank you. And they said goodbye. And the next person like was like looking down at the ground or something. She was like, next victim, really loud. And 13 year old little wimpy me was like, maybe I'll, maybe I'll talk to her later. Um, so she's <laughs> And hey, if you want to stay tuned tomorrow, where I confront her about uh, that incident, um, you can't. It's at, wait, is it 10 a.m. tomorrow or 10.30? No, it's 10. I had to look at my calendar because I had to make sure that I didn't overlap anything, and it is 10. It's 10. So if you want to watch me confront strong, let's do it. 
let's start a Twitter right now. If you're gonna wear your hat like that, I'm gonna wear my my city hat like my dad wears his baseball caps. <laughs> it's yes. like one whiffed, one like tiny child blowing like a, a birthday candle would fly, would make the hat fly off of his head. That's how high yeah. atop his forehead Wait. it is. That's amazing. All right. Um, what a shame. Now, your thumbs on your prank. <clears throat> yeah, I'm done. Sorry, this is for Adam. And I said, rock on. There you go. Boom. Because that's a that's rocking poster. I have a new print. Thanks, Adam. It's the Let's pr Play print. This is to John Chamberlain, Chamberlain, Chamberman Lane. All of the above. I'm going to be signing this. Let's go, John. Take it away, Michelle. <laughs> Hello. Okay. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, I see. Okay, so. Alrighty. Oh, that's the sound of my puppy coming back. <gasps> Miss! We gotta puppy. get loose. On my... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make that puppy come to me. Puppy, Wait. he's not in the house yet. <laughs> Did someone give me for the puppy? Okay, I'm gonna answer a question. -o. Also, guys, if we miss your question, feel free to like re-put it in the chat. But oh, don't yes. spam it. Don't do it a bunch of times. Sure, yeah. Or... But uh, every now and then, if we really <laughs> missed it, and it's yeah. a while back. Michelle, what's your favorite type of cheese? Michelle, what's your favorite oh, type? Oh, of... oh, 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 Claire, what's up, Claire, Claire, my favorite type of cheese is my favorite type of cheese. My favorite type of cheese is either Balderson or um, Brie or Coastal Cheddar. There you go. Coastal Cheddar. Okay, I like New Zealand Cheddar and I like Brie. Those are my nice. two. <gasps> you get a matching cheese. Mm, you get a matching cheese. Wow. Give me the puppy. He's back from his walk. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, sorry. Puppy. Here we go. Hi, puppy. How was your walk, Moogie? How was your walk? Did you have like, a walk? He's <laughs> sleeping on the table. Oh my gosh. Oh, He's already Oh my gosh, you're warm. Is it sunny out? Wow. He needs it. Look at his hair. <laughs> his hair got so bad. Oh, boy. It, it's just because he got his neutering thing. And so we, we first of all, we can't bathe him. Teeth. Yeah, he had his teeth. He had two sets of fangs, which was so, like, very sharp because it's baby teeth. And baby teeth are really sharp. And so we had, like, two sets growing on both sides. It was kind of sad. But uh, he, he did well with his surgery, and he's all good now. And uh, one yeah. set of fangs. <laughs> As you can see, he's gonna up. have a haircut very soon. That's so cute. I'm gonna get the same haircut. Puppy, he's gonna right, really um, needy today. <laughs> Wait, yes, we're complete. We have written a six on the back. You don't need to know that. Complete. <laughs> oh, but we do, Claire. Oh, who is that for? For John Chamberlain. The Hi, third. John. Hope you enjoy your wonderful Claire Horlet signing. Okay. Oh wait, I already did Adam. I gotta I gotta complete that. Gotta get all my completes. Okay. Oh drummer shy. Okay. Next print is for drummer shy. He chose again oh, the uh, fabulous picture that Gabe drew many years ago. And Beautiful. perhaps my puppy just wants to choose here with me. Uh, except I have to put him in my left hand because I'm right handed. Take it away, Claire. All right. <laughs> Uh, let's see crew make some noise all right um thanks claire looks awesome oh i think that was on chamberlain hey welcome what's up bro um i saw someone ask something before and i freaking was like oh i should answer that and then all the questions went away because i wasn't at question time yet let's see uh, oh Tumby Time said, hey, Claire, are you excited for Bo Burnham's new stand-up special on Sunday? Yes, although I probably won't be watching it on Sunday because this weekend is incredibly busy. Um, I am actually very excited for that. I am, I have been, I don't know, I saw his Instagram post about it, and ever since I've just been so thrilled, you know? Um, somebody said, what would your spirit animal be? Here we go. Finally, some good questions. I'm going to say that every time. Um, my spirit animal, I think, I, for some reason, I'm thinking of this video I 
made a while ago where I wanted to have a, a job potential or I wanted to go to this conference thing. And so I sent a video submission for it. And I said that I would be a Yorkie because, and it was incredibly because I was young and scrappy and I'm always ready to, but I also have a fun time and I'm small. I don't, anyway, I, I really don't have an answer. Let me know what you think my spirit animal should be. Maybe someone who digs himself mm. a deeper hole every single time mouth. Is there, oh, an you could be a naked here. mole rat. <laughs> or a naked mole rat. There you go. Or a, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. I think mine's ferret. Like, I think I think deep down I'm a ferret. <laughs> if they don't I, have So that's me. <laughs> I have completed drummer shy. I said I miss your great playing. He's a great drummer. And also said see you soon, because I hope that we can see everybody soon at convention now, soon. I but I uh, hope to hear drummer like shy play again. Ferret. So there you go, drummer. Thank you very much. Jonathan, beautiful. You sign now. Go. My talk I'm, is just walking across the table. <laughs> oh boy. Because obviously his <laughs> user is such. All right. Anyway, my jokes are failing. Nobody's laughing in the comments. How come you guys aren't laughing? If you're laughing in real life, you need to ha, laugh. Ha, ha. Ha, ha, I laugh for you. All right. We Good are dog. writing instant, and we're going to write, oh, come on. And then I'm going to sign my name. Take it away, Moose. I have actually no idea what he would sound like. I started with that, and I don't like that. Right? A cat. Don't think I like that. Moosey will. I want to talk to you. Is like, a, I do I think that's you. I do like a tiny thing. Moose has a little bit of a lisp. I kind of hard to understand, but I am mommy. I know probably has a tongue out all the time, too. So, what, what's that? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He heard some chimkin. He heard something in the kitchen. You want to go check it out? Okay, I leave you be. Okay, bye, Moose. Right, okay. Do you need a question? I do. Um, I just forget who it was because it went by in the chat, but somebody's asking if uh, you and Claire ever stay in touch with Maddie. Yes, but Maddie lives in the Los Angeles, and she's been there for a long time now. So we don't see yes. her as much, unfortunately. Um, we have in the States now, but, um, we, you know, for Maddie was gone down south quite a bit earlier than, than Claire yeah. left. And Claire because has been lucky to work on. <laughs> she was born in 97? Yeah, Maddie's like two years older than us, I think. Yeah. Cool. But no, oh, yeah, she's still a great friend of ours and, and we love her lots, but uh, yeah. We don't get to see her as much, but we are certainly, yeah, great friends with her. Hmm. I love your Apple Bloom voice. Well, thank y'all so much. Over the years, it was, uh, we had, you know. Oh, did you know, Claire? Did, wait, did you know I'm on My Little Pony? Have you ever heard my Apple Bloom impression? I heard, wait, Claire. Can you can you impersonate anyone on the show of My Little Pony? I can try. I can. Okay. Oh my god. I okay. Do just really like try. Just like see what comes off the top of your tongue. It is. I, I do a really good apple bloom, but I didn't know that okay. you were apple. that freaks me. Okay. Out. I get it. Sometimes I'm like, whoa. I was like, like, wait. Wait. <laughs> that was actually really good. You and I. We could have switched. No, they did. They like switched the animation all the freaking time because they sounded so similar. Even though one has an accent and one does not. Literally, I don't know how I, they, who met, who dropped the ball on that. Several I times, have, not just once. Sweetie Belle's voice in the big episode, the episode where we turned big, big. And I don't know what, yeah. I mean, it's pretty funny, but it sounds like, it's really weird watching that character and then seeing like just actually me speak and not because when I was nine that was me speaking but then my voice yeah. got lower doing it higher and higher and then I was like watching that episode and I was like whoa this is really trippy to like watch this back it's very weird did you ask me a question yeah. I don't know what, I don't know where I where oh, did you trail that uh, that was just because someone said they liked my album voice and then we oh. went to a skit and then now we're here so I suppose it is happens a lot turn to sign now I guess are you done yours yeah this is great yeah I do you finished. wanna um 
did, did you want to do like a couple? I know you have to leave at 5.05 though. Do you want to, uh, why don't I do yeah. one more and then, and then you sign till the end of yours? We or can uh, I can hop off of yours now so you can focus on your signing. I can let you go or just let I me know. Signatures that I'm going to rapid, I can rapid fire after, after you sign one, I can rapid fire those five and then, you know, you can answer questions the entire time. Okay, no, oh. no worries, no worries. Which Wi-Fi are you on? Which Wi-Fi am I on? I am on the... Did I mm -hmm. check market? Okay, cool. <laughs> can I say something? <laughs> oh, I remember somebody a while ago asked something about me and Michelle being friends. Clearly, we are not because we're doing we hate each other. <laughs> Um, Yikes. This is I awkward. was fun with our stupid song. What was the song you made up? Um, <gasps> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm the suitcase down since you left with your suitcase stuck to the front. Everybody is thoroughly confused. Oh, we could do lots more of that. There's lots oh, I more know. that came from I folks. Well, that's what happens when we start writing like the Halloween song together and for Halloween. Yes. And we are like trying to listen to oh my gosh i literally had one of those things stuck in my head yesterday you know the part that i had stuck in my head and i could not get it out it's not even a lyric michelle it's the freaking okay. of whatever whatever one we did i don't remember the title oh hi hello hey oh you do like some like like garage band like like, like sound it was tribal three or whatever and it was it, yeah. oh my god I died laughing and i could not get it out of my head hey, yeah. the beginning this, actually the claire you can go ahead and get signing because this one didn't have a name it's just a signature so i made it nice and pretty boom Michelle okay. Prebell. go for it claire you answer a bunch of questions and I'll just interrupt you when I'm when I'm signing and I'll tell the people what they say. This one is Lloyd Jenkins game PM and he says, I know this doesn't exactly go here, but I just wanted to say that I admire your work and that I think you're super duper awesome pogers wholesome one hundred. I don't know what that means. I hope it's not a swear word in meme culture, and we're gonna move on from there. So here we go. Lloyd Jenkins, here we go. Oh, wait, he is sticky. sticky on the last one i might not have numbered the last one this is my moogie voice ever since we got moogie this is how i <laughs> talk to him moogie <laughs> i didn't put a number <gasps> what number oh, was it I, I discovered you can <gasps> actually show the completed ones oh you're right okay yes you said that was wrong mote okay Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna double check that. Here we go. Oh it was wait, I'm so confused. Where was it? Hello? Where did it go? Can't see it. Oh I found it! Okay, this is <coughs> oh, I need number drummer shies. Idiot. Crazy yep. stupid me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I make sure you know you're talking about yourself. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, that's why I specified me. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Um all right. Let's go to some questionos while Claire Can rapid fires. Can you make an original song in Apple Bloom's voice? Can I make like it? creating and singing original country song, like just like freewheeling something. Um. Okay. Someone asked to create an Corn. Apple Bloom original. What did you say, Claire? Corn. Go. <laughs> oh, as Apple. <laughs> Why would Apple Bloom sing about corn, no, Claire? She owned an apple farm. Apples. Corn. There you go. Um, okay, well, um, uh, on the day that I was born, someone gave me a piece of corn, and I said, what the hell is this? I want something better. And then someone handed me a green apple, and ever since then, I've been hooked, and that's why I am called Apple Blue. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! Oh, 
is. Yay! Oh. Wow. Do you like how I incorporated wow. your corn there, Claire? That was really important. I thought that, that was, was essential that was to in in include. Thank you. And then Mom. that also uh, covers another question, which is, can you swear a Zappel Bloom? <laughs> Absolutely not. You will. You good luck hand. ever finding. <laughs> Good luck ever finding me swear as Apple Bloom. You may one day find uh, me swearing on my own, but good luck ever finding a clip of me swearing as Apple Bloom. <laughs> you you can find some Tabitha St. Germain and, and Granny Smith, but that's more understandable. Yep. Okay. Give me another question, um, Momo. Okay. Somebody says, can't believe it was five years since they first met you at BronyCon. And the oh. thing went by so fast, I can't even tell you the name, though. Who said that? Five oh, years. Yeah. Wow. wow. At that least is a long five time. years. Oh, since they met you. I see. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Time Wait. moves at such a rapid pace. Um, <sighs> let's see. What Somebody else? doesn't want anything on it. They don't even want it. They don't have a name. They don't have anything. So I'm just going to put the number on this and send it off. Wait, 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 wait. No, sign it, Claire. I think that's that's what I did with mine that was blank. I just signed my name. I think that's right. Okay. It that's doesn't, a good question. It doesn't say make it out too. I know. Mine didn't either, but I chose to just do the signature, just in case. I don't know who you are, but I'm putting my signature not too big. So okay, yes. Just make it nice and small, just in case, and then they can always cut it out or, you know, make it smaller. Crop the whole Where? image. I don't want this. <laughs> what is this? Sharpie mistake. <laughs> okay. I've got, what like, your... five minutes. Okay, beautiful. What would your evil apple bloom name be? What would my evil apple bloom name be? Apple oh, rotten, <laughs> rotten apple. <laughs> yes. That's great. Gross. <laughs> Classic. Ooh, Call the writers. Start Violet off the show Crystal again. wants to know if you have any fun memories from the UK conventions. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> the UK conventions, you know, the last time we were in the UK was like 2016? I think 2015 so. even? Maybe, no, maybe 2016. The first one was 2013, and then I think 2015. I don't think we had, well, we went to like some Asian conventions and some other European conventions, but I don't think we've been in the UK since 2016 or 2015. So my memories are perhaps a bit like shallow in how many things I, I can remember in detail, but I, I remember what I do remember was very fun and it was a really great environment there. So and the Bridgewater Hall is amazing. Yeah. And that summer, oh, that's Manchester. That summer sun uh, rave that you performed. Yeah. That. Manchester was just gorgeous yeah. for sure. Claire's how, Claire, how are your uh, signings going? I have two more after this one, and then I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Go to your session in your new car. Debbie says, MLP huh? will always mean the world to me. It was an amazing community experience paired with a wonderful show made by wonderful people. Also, I really like your hairstyle. That's all. No questions here. Thank you. <laughs> it took me a couple of years to figure out how to <laughs> deal with short hair. I'd like to just erase the memory of the first like two years of me having short hair because I didn't realize <laughs> I could grow it. Just like, we'll just, we'll just forget about that. And then like a couple of years ago, I was like, oh, if I go a little bit longer, it will look really good and not like a five-year-old boy, uh, which is great. So I love my hairstyle now too. Thank you very much for, for saying that. Right. Claire, this is a question we can both answer before you pop off. If you can double Again. task. This is a great question. What were your what would your travel plans be again for when you can travel? First you're gonna come see me or I'm gonna come see you, and then what's the next priority? <laughs> I think you should see me. Um uh, for a multitude of reasons. Because I'm signing. Okay. Um, because it'd be cool, fun and warm. And um True. Brick, what else? I probably will honestly listen. The emails that I'm getting right now are really, really great. And I may or may not be going to a convention if they're having them. So that's in the works. That would be probably the first thing that I'm doing um, in terms of, you know, new travel plans. So I'm going <laughs> to just, I'm going to bark and I'm just going to, you know, <laughs> for the that to happen maybe potentially um i also am taking a road trip soon to los angeles but that's not for me well it's well yeah the trip's not for me but i have to pick up something so 
That's gonna be fun. Boom chat yeah. Malaka. I have one more. Somebody did get this print. Thank you so much. It took me nice. eight. Yes. Doesn't even look that good. So thanks very much for that. Someone and, asked um, me to say Scoot, scoot, scoot a loo. Scoot, scoot, scoot a loo. <laughs> so there you go. I said it. Chicken. Any it's good goes memories out of Galacon they want to know from you. Oh, good. Well, first of all, I should answer that travel question quickly. I want oh, to go sure, to yeah. L.A., New York, maybe to visit Claire in Arizona. If she goes to L.A., I'll see her there. And then I want to go to Hawaii because we were going to go there for my parents' 25th wedding anniversary, which was last September. Obviously, that didn't happen. Um, so we want, want to go, go there. To and then just everywhere, honestly. I, I just want to go everywhere. So excited to travel again. And Galicon, yes, Galicon is some of my best con memories ever. Claire has been to Galicon as well, right? But were, yes. were we ever there at the same time? No. I don't I think so. I would have fully remembered us, like, waddling around Germany together. We were never there yeah. at the same time. Yeah, we That's did not. Us. We would have, like, caught, we would have made sure our flights matched up, too, that long of a flight. I, I don't think yeah. we ever did. Mm -mm. This is my last one, by the way. I'm checking it off. Number 15. Thank Hello, you so that much. Sharpie. Somebody said I wasn't expecting to hear Sweetie Bell bark. <laughs> people on my people on my stream would be able to see you. That was my dog. Don't worry. That wasn't Claire. <laughs> Did you finish them all? You're you're dancing. A victory dance. Um, I'll answer one more because I've been ignoring my Instagram for a while. I'm gonna answer one more lucky question. So make it good, make it snappy, and um, I'm really, I mean. I have to go set up my thing, so I need like 15 minutes. But we're we're on we're in good time. So after this question, I'm gonna piece off, and you guys can check out Michelle's live stream on her YouTube channel, or you can rewatch this if you really care to do that. Um, let's see. Oh, someone said favorite type of bread, but then someone also said, "How did you two meet?" <laughs> Sir. Let's let's find a way to relate those questions somehow. What a fabulous challenge. <laughs> Listen, I have the perfect story. So, as a young piece of sourdough trying to find a purpose for, to contribute sourdough, as a young sourdough starter, if you will, I was trying to find my purpose in my life. I was five. That was early. And I thought to myself, hey, I'm going to do what has been modeled for me in my life and because I like attention and I like to read, even though I don't know how to read yet. Well, I was probably like four. And then I started to learn how to read. And then it turned out that I could get jobs for reading. And my dad had the appropriate connections and he slapped me on through the system. And I met someone, another sourdough starter, if you will who was trying to find her purpose in the life at the age of <laughs> something. And whatever it was, like, six-year-old sourdough. Six-year-old sourdough starter. And so we were Beautiful. desperately, desperately trying to help to, to find a, okay, what the frick? Anyway, we're, my favorite type of bread is all bread, okay? I just like all bread. I don't know what to tell you. I like it all. It's great. It makes me poop um and sometimes it doesn't make me poop but either way uh Michelle either way. And I, when we were doing I like how i, I had to turn my phone notifications we on. were doing this show and i was the blonde oh, my God, Sally. oh i was the blonde and michelle was michelle were you not wait what was her name i was lucy oh you were lucy why would i think charlie's little sister was lucy no, you're Charlie's little sister, aren't Sally, you? Yeah. Sally, yeah. Sally. Sally. You are. Never mind. All right. So <laughs> she never mind. And I was Sally, and I had a little couple of scenes, and I came and I went, oh, my gosh, there's a little girl who's my age who looks like me. I'm going to go say hello. I don't actually remember this. I don't think I did say hello. It probably was, like, probably <laughs> so in-depth. Come on, Michelle, go say hi to the children. And then my mom was probably like, go say hi, go socialize. And I was like hi and then we forgot about each other and we didn't care for many many years 
came back to My Little Pony when we were like nine. So we had like a four year break. And we were like, oh, I remember that kid. I remember that kid. I remember that kid's mom. And I remember that kid. And then we did My Little Pony together. And that was basically, then we started doing YouTube videos together during the My Little Pony thing because it was very weird and no other kid could relate to that happening. So we became immediate friends. Um, well, not immediate friends in the grand scheme of things, but then we became good friends. And in the same time that My Little Pony didn't yet pick up, we also filmed a movie called Smart Cookies together, which I keep forgetting about. We filmed a movie yeah. and it was great. And uh, we had a blast and we got to know each other better through that because we were there every single day. And then we were like, oh, I guess we'll see you in a My Little Pony session. And then that became a thing during the movie that we were filming. So it was kind of weird. Like the whole brony thing exploded. And I remember we had an interesting video that we sent and I was wearing a weird pug on my shirt and it was um, teal. And I don't remember what Michelle was wearing something in the, like, oh, probably like a plaid. You said you had to go at 5.05 and you're like starting with our meeting Five. story at the Big right. Bang. You're, you're telling the story like my grandma. Listen, I like bread, okay? I like freaking bread. I don't know why this has to be such this an argument. Like, gonna be late for her session because she's so passionate about bread and me. You're so what passionate you? about bread and me. So, you know. It's true. They go hand in hand, you know? But right. Michelle is yeah. like the breed of my bread. You need both. You can't have none without the it's other. True. That, ladies and gentlemen, is full circle. Well, isn't that true? I'd like to make a, a walrus sharpie for you as a parting gift. That's delicious. Also, oh, real quick, gotta get the right angle here. My anime, it's called, uh, it's called, uh, didn't I say to make my abilities average in the next lifetime? And with this, I'm going to get my chipmunk teeth and I will sign out because it is now 510 and Derek is going to be mad. So we're slipping. We're slipping. Okay. okay oh, see you tomorrow at 10, everybody. I love and you. you. Oh. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, well, I'm so, how do I help? have a great session, my friends. I will talk to you on the panel tomorrow. And now I have Sharpie on my teeth. I don't, okay. I think I don't. Ready, set, you tell me. Bye. Bye. And.